Hi, I'm Mrs. Scholes, and I'm the counselor at Blue Ash Elementary School, and I'm going to read to you a chapter from Gooseberry Park, and it is chapter 13 called The Weasel. The author of this book is called Cynthia Ryland, and I am going to show you a picture of the weasel from chapter 13. The Weasel. It was several days after the ice storm before Professor Albert took Kona to Gooseberry Park again. First they had to wait for warmer air to blow in and for the ice to melt. Then they had to wait for park crews to remove the devastation of all the fallen trees. The sound of chainsaws filled the air, leaving everyone in Professor Albert's house with a heavy heart, particularly Kona. He thought of Stumpy's nest all destroyed and all the treasures were scattered and gone, and he wondered if he would ever really see her again. Finally, Professor Albert resumed his walks to the park and Kona was relieved, for he had hopes of hearing news that there was Stumpy. With the warmer weather, many animals would be out and someone was bound to know something. When he arrived at Gooseberry Park, Kona could not help that his hopes were sinking a little bit. Nearly every tree had suffered some injury, and many had not survived at all. Large piles of sawed trunks and branches laid everywhere. The remains of Stumpy's beautiful pin oak were among them. Still, Kona could sense in the air a spirit of renewal all around him. The animals were stirring, and there was life. There was hope. While Professor Albert read a book on clams, Kona took off her look for clues where Stumpy's house was. He stopped to chat with a chipmunk who had just awakened from hibernation and was still a little groggy. Are you acquainted with a squirrel named Stumpy? Kona asked. The chipmunk yawned. Oh, whose cabbage was it, he said. Kona sighed and moved on. <sighs> then Kona met a mallard duck who said that no, he didn't know what had become of Stumpy, but that the weasels on West Side were bound to know something. All weasels live for gossip and sensational events. And it was one weasel. He, if he knew something, every weasel knew it all. Kona thanked the mallard and headed across the park. Once he arrived on the west side, it didn't take long for Kona to find a weasel. He simply stood on a tree stump and said as loudly as he could, What a strange story! And sure enough, from behind a broken maple, a weasel popped out his head. The weasel ran over to Kona and sniffed the air. <laughs> What's strange? the weasel asked. What? What? It's about the squirrel who lost her babies over on the east side. Oh yeah, I heard about that squirrel, answered the weasel. So what? Well, Kona replied, I hear that a dog on Miller Street. Do you know Miller Street? Yes, I know it, I know it, go on, said the weasel. Well, Kona continued, a dog on Miller Street has some treasure that belongs to a squirrel but he can't find her anywhere. And he actually wants to get the treasure back. Now, isn't that strange? The dog lives on Miller Street, you say, asked the weasel. Right, said Kona, thinking as fast as he could. And I hear he's planning to put a sign on the house tomorrow night, so the squirrel can find him. What kind of sign, asked the weasel, like, welcome squirrel, or something? No, I hear that it's going to be a sign only the squirrel will know. A secret sign, Kona answered. Imagine, leading straight to the treasure. You sure it's Miller Street, the weasel, who was always interested in treasure, asked. Oh, yes, said Kona. Tomorrow night, a sign for the squirrel on Middle Street, and I am positive. So, do you know what the sign is? asked the weasel with his sharp little nose twitching. No, said Kona, afraid not. Then what girded you? The weasel sneered. 
and off he ran to find another weasel who might know about a sign for a squirrel on Miller Street. With a sigh of relief, Kona watched the weasel run away, and the dog turned and hurried back to Professor Albert and home, for he had a very important task ahead of him now. Before tomorrow night, he had to think of a sign. I hope you enjoyed Chapter 13, and I know that it will be interesting to see what happens in Chapter 14. Goodbye!